Now that we understand how to select an optimizer for a module, we should consider how to string those modules. So the information about stringing can be found on the spec sheet. If you look at the bottom of the spec sheet, it'll say maximum power per string. With our single phase HD wave inverters, you will see that a six kilowatt inverter and below has a maximum string length of 5,700 watts while the 7.6 kilowatt and above has a maximum string length of 6,000 watts. To find your maximum string length, all you have to do is take your maximum power per string, 6,000 watts, divide by your module wattage. In this example, we use 300 watts. So if I'm on a six kilowatt inverter, that means I can put 19 modules on a single string. If I'm on a 7.6 kilowatt inverter, I can put 20 modules on a single string. So the Solar Edge design rules are pretty simple. We can see that the minimum string length is gonna be eight optimizers if you're using a P320, 370, or 400. And it's gonna change, the maximum power per string is gonna change based on the inverter that you're using. Notice how the P320, 370, and 400 are in the same group, and the P405 and 505 are in a different group. Basically, it's their output voltage. So you can mix and match 405s and 505s in the same string, as well as 320s, 370s, and 400s in the same string, but you cannot put a 405 in the same string as a 400. We get a lot of questions about oversizing. It is always okay to oversize the inverter. In fact, with a single phase inverter with HD wave technology, our maximum DC to AC ratio is 155%. However, you are never allowed to oversize a string. So if the maximum string length is 5,700 watts and you have 24 modules at 250 watts yielding 6,000 watts and you don't want to break it up into two strings, I am so sorry. You're going to have to break it up into two strings. In this configuration, 6,000 watts exceeds the maximum of 5,700. So you'd have to do two strings of 12 and that is perfectly acceptable. With Solar Edge, you're allowed to have paralleled strings of unequal length. We can also mount modules in a portrait or landscape orientation without any special requirements. As I said before, you can have different power ratings on different modules connected to an optimizer, or you can have modules on different orientations on the same string. Thank you so much for joining us today at the Solar Edge University. We hope to see you on more design courses. For additional information and access to more in-depth tutorials, go to SolarEdge.com, select Login and eLearning to get access to the library of SolarEdge learning materials.